Here comes another one fairly fast. The price, the licensed prescriber said to give 40 milligrams of some medicine. I don't know how it's done, but every 12 hours, but you're going to check out to see if that's safe or not. So on the drug label or this drug book or somewhere, it says a safe dose is eight milligrams per kilogram per day. So we're going to work out to see what a safe dose is. We're going to temporarily ignore the order of 40 milligrams and just see what a safe dose is for our patient. Wow, I can't get the lid off this thing. Oh, there we go. Okay. So the safe amount is eight milligrams per kilogram per day. Hey, we're doing the same thing over and over. Can you read this stuff? Okay. Just for a different reason from the past two weeks. We now multiply by the weight in kilograms, so we take 19 pounds. Let's see, 19 divided by 2.2, so the patient weighs 8.6364 kilograms. Let me say again, just don't round that off and use that in your next calculation. I can write it down as just something like 8.6. I can round off the number to put it down there, but don't use that number in your next calculation. Use the whole big long strung out number. So those cancel out. So I take that 8.6364 blah 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 and I multiply by 8. So that number is 69 point something or other, something or other. What the milligrams per day. So for the entire 24 hours, and by the way, this may say. 8 milligrams per kilogram per 24 hours. That's the same thing as a day. Okay. So for an entire day, I can give my patient safely 69.1 milligrams for the whole day. But I didn't know how much per dose is safe. Because the doctor's order is always in a per dose amount. A number like that's always in a per dose, 40 milligrams is what the doctor ordered. Well, how many times a day will this be given? I got to divide by the number of times per day. Well, every 12 hours, Q, 12 days, and don't divide by 12. I keep seeing people do that. Divide by two. If something's done every 12 hours, it's done twice every day. So I divide this number by two. So again, let me say it. You're getting tired of me saying this. Keep that number in your little machine and just say divide that by two. Don't round this off and then use that in the further calculation. Now it's 34.5. 34.5 something, something, something. That, though, is the milligrams in each dose. So each dose, each dosage, each divided dose, those are all good terms, but I give my patient. I can give my patient safely 34.5 milligrams. Well, what did the prescriber order? Hmm, 40. You may think, well, that's fairly close, but again, yeah. In the real world, you're going to learn, well, how close can close be and still be okay? Or how far away can it be, but it's not any longer okay? If that's not this number, you don't give it. So is the order safe? No. Now, several things to realize. Both in the homework and on the practice quizzes and on the real quiz, you may have a three, four, five part question. First question being, What's a safe amount to give the patient for 24 hours or per day? Well, that's this number. Next question. What's a safe amount to give your patient per dose or in divided doses? Well, that's this number. Next question. Is the order safe? No. Now, what do you do? We're told how strong the stuff is and we're asked how much to give. So what do we do now? You, you don't do a dosage calculation problem. You don't decide how much you're going to give because you're not going to give anything. You're not going to give what's been prescribed. You're not going to give this that you consider a safe dosage. What do you do? You have to call up the prescriber and ask what is going on and what do you need to do. You must clarify this with the licensed prescriber. So you don't even work out the dosage calculation portion of this because you're not going to do it. Not to be tricky, but if there is on the quiz a problem like this and it asks you how much you give your patient, you have how many, don't even work this out. Just leave that blank or put zero. I'm not giving it. I'm giving nothing until I find out what is going on. Now, I think you're getting the hang of this, but here's, and I hope you got this far, 
in the video lectures. Our next video lecture is going to be something fairly different. So keep going. Don't stop now. And if you didn't get to this point, say, ah, I got this down. Ooh, you're in trouble. Call your friend and say, no, what's the rest? He switched the rug out. You know, it's different now. So a little different quirk in this from now on. You ready for it?